Hello and welcome to One on One. In the studio with me today is Paminda Veer, OBE, CEO of the Tony Olumilu Foundation. As executive producer, non-executive director and CEO, she has a track record of creating opportunities and adding value through sound strategic planning. Paminda has devoted her working life to a passionate pursuit of untapped potential, both in terms of business development and as a teller of untold stories from those without the resources to reach their deserved audience. She was awarded Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II for her services to broadcasting in 2002. Currently as CEO of the Tony Lumilu Foundation, she oversees the strategic development and implementation of its key programs and activities, which include the TEF Entrepreneurship Program, a 10-year $100 million commitment to identify, train, mentor and fund 10,000 entrepreneurs from across the continent. Welcome to the studio, Paminda. Thank you very much. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Uh, can you tell us about the Tony Lumilu program? It is literally the largest entrepreneurship program mm -hmm. on the continent, but also I would say around the world. Every year since 2015, we take, we select 1,000 entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and we provide them with training, mentoring, seed capital to develop their business ideas, and then a membership to the largest entrepreneurship network across the continent. Um, the program was launched really to, you know, operationalize uh, Mr. Olumalu's vision that Afri-capitalism, his economic philosophy of Afri-capitalism, mm -hmm. that it is the private sector that's going to transform the African continent, the economic transformation that lies with the private sector. And startups and SMEs are very much a part of that um, private sector development and growth. I think the other two is that he always says that he was he was lucky and he wanted to wants to institutionalize luck and the on, the foundation and the entrepreneurship program is a way of institutionalizing that luck and also to democratize opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, he is born in Nigeria, made it in Nigeria, but he is really a pan Africanist. He sees the whole of the, all the 54 African countries and economies as fundamental to the business growth of the continent. Yeah, I liked when you said he's trying to institution, institutionalize LOC. Yeah. Uh, what are the criteria for getting involved in the program? So the application portal, portal opens once a year on mm. the 1st of January and it closes on the 1st of March. So the 2019 application portal is open now. This is our mm fifth round of the of the program. Um, so we've already trained and mentored and provided seed capital to 4,470 entrepreneurs mm -hmm. over the last four years. And the, you know, the criteria for applying is simple. You have to have a business idea. Mm -hmm. You've seen a gap in the market. You think you've got, you've seen a problem and you think your business idea is the solution. And you know that there is a potential customer or a client who's going to be able to pay for your product or service, yeah? So it is with your business idea that you apply. And for those of you who are considering applying, the application form is not a walk in the park. It mm. was designed to really differentiate those who think that this is, you know, a grant aid program. It's not. It's an entrepreneurship development program. Um, and, and fundamental to that pro to the program is the 12 week training and the mentoring that you will receive before you even get anywhere near to accessing the five thousand dollars. So, is there an age group? Is there a timeline? Is it for everyone who wants to start a business, or you're already in the business? How does it work yeah. exactly? So, we wanted to play at the bottom of the pyramid. You mm -hmm. know, institutionalize luck, like democratize exactly. opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There isn't um, that opportunity at the kind of the bottom of the pyramid so we've we said we would receive ideas mm -hmm. from um enterprises that are zero to three year old okay so okay. you can apply with an you know an amazing idea and many of our applicants have applied and have been accepted or you can apply with a business that you started but is under three years old. Mm. You have to be over 18 plus, so you have to be 18 years old to be able to apply. 
Um, and what's the maximum age? Um, you can be a hundred plus as long mm-hmm. as you have an amazing business mm-hmm. idea. So our applicants range from 18 to 70 plus. Yeah. Wow. Remember the old entrepreneurs are now becoming an important part of the entrepreneurship ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And then we are sector agnostic. You know, a lot of programs out there are focused on particular sectors. sectors. Our mm-hmm. program is sector agnostic and we already have 30 plus sectors from where um, entrepreneurs apply. Yeah? Um, we are also gender agnostic in the sense that our program isn't targeting a men or agenda. women, mm-hmm. but where you know what we want to see is men and women apply in equal numbers. In the first year, we had like I think 24% of our applicants, and the ones we selected were women business owners. Okay. We recognized we had to, we and then we used those women business owners mm-hmm. who had applied and, and gone through the program as role models. Um, in our advertising campaign and marketing campaign. And to our amazement in 2018, um, I think we had 41% were women business owners. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there was an organic growth of women business owners saying, hang on, you know, this this speaks to me Mm -hmm. and I can apply and have a chance of my application being selected. So the first challenge is the application. Mm-hmm. Then the next challenge is getting selected. Exactly. I was going to ask you, so what are the criteria for getting selected? I've applied. How do I know that I'm fit for this? Sure. I mean, so if you are applying, you know, my advice to you is to read the application form and the terms and conditions, because in the terms and condition, you'll read the criteria for selection and they're really five fundamental criteria. Mm-hmm. One is the feasibility of your business idea. Mm-hmm. So when Extension Development Partners reviews the applications, these are the five criteria against which your application, your business idea is being reviewed. The feasibility of the idea. Is there a market opportunity for your business idea? Mm-hmm. Where is this market? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, your financial understanding. Mm-hmm. Financial literacy, as we've discovered over the last four years, is one of the weak links across yeah. the African mm-hmm. continent. But I think that's the case with most entrepreneurs. We're much more interested in the idea than the financial management. But you have to have some financial understanding of your business. You know, are you doing this as a lifestyle or is this something that you think, oh, I'll run this on the side while I still have my public sector job or a corporate Mm -hmm. job? So it's really your passion for your business idea, your entrepreneurial skills, yeah? And finally, it's really whether this idea has scalability. Can it go from your community, from your country? Mm. Can this product travel across borders? Are there customers and clients who will be able to pay for this, you know, product or service outside of your Region. identifiable market? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, in terms of finances, like you rightly said, that's one challenge I love entrepreneurs face. Is there a training that those selected go through in terms of helping them understand how financial management should sure. be done? So, the ten. So, certainly, in, even at the application stage, we've made we provide tools with which you can. You know, how it, as you're filling out the application form, mm-hmm. yeah? Because it's important that you begin to understand at this stage, at the application stage, of why financial management and financial understanding is important. But yes, I mean, there is the 12 week training program. Okay. And I think it's week five, which is the one that's the toughest, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's all about finance. Financing. Mm. We have Accenture Development Partners who've actually gave, given us a lot of uh, financial management tools, yeah, which we've incorporated into the 12 week training program. So there's a lot of hand holding and a lot of um, inf- additional information is given to those who were selected and who are now embarking on that 12 week training program. Plus, of course, you have your mentor who will also guide you through the processes from the, you know, the, the, the week one to week 12 when you assemble your business plan. All right, so talking from the perspective of anyone who's watching, right, is there an educational background requirement that is necessary before applying? 
No, because we have, no. I mean, I think the program is, you know, we are technology driven program. Mm -hmm. So the 12 week training and the mentoring mentor learning program is online. The application form is submitted online. Um, but it doesn't seem to be deterring people from across the African continent. Mm. I mean, in the first year we had 20,000 and this year, last year we had 151,000 wow. applications from 54 African countries mm -hmm. in three languages, French, Portuguese and English. Yeah. So there's not an education background, mm. but more I think you need to be, I think you need to have be technology or tech savvy, savvy, at savvy least. Yeah? Okay. technology savvy mm. because it is a technology driven program mm -hmm. um, and it is your business idea and your ability to articulate that idea Hopefully. on paper okay yeah? so you're only a failure if you don't learn and mm. apply the mistakes to either changing direction mm. or improving whatever aspects of your business um, that's been suffering We'll take a quick break now. You're still watching One on One on Plus TV Africa. Do stay with us. I have seen these young Africans prosper from some who didn't even know what to do with their lives until they got the 5,000 Seed Capital for the Training and Foundation and the mentorship and the training that gladdens my heart. I saw this ad about the Tony Elumelu Foundation. I applied. That was the pivotal moment. Africa Fashion Week London just came after I participated in the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. Tony Elumelu, grâce à sa foundation, permet de donner une boussole à tous les entrepreneurs de cette foundation. Our role is not only to empower young Africans directly, we should be a voice, advocate, catalyst for economic empowerment of Africa. The future of Africa is in your hands. Become a Tony Elumelu entrepreneur. Apply now. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching One on One on Plus TV Africa. All right, uh, Paminda, can you tell us about the forum? I mean, I was at the 2018 forum. That's fantastic. <laughs> was this your first forum? Oh, yes, it was my first. Oh, wow. It was my first. Okay, so we've had there. four amazing forums, mm. yeah? Um, and it is a place where the 1,000 entrepreneurs we select every year, they have the opportunity to meet each other face to face. So they travel from across the 54 African countries mm. at their own expense now from, yeah, at their own expense and we provide them with accommodation and we feed them over the, the two days of the forum. But it's an opportunity for the African continent to really connect in Come one together. place. And it literally has now grown to become mm. Africa's largest gathering of entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurship ecosystem. It's mind blowing. I, I was I was blown away when I saw all of the countries yeah. coming together. It was such a beautiful, you know, experience. All right, why is the TF Connect relevant to the foundation and to the African community? It's the most important, mm -hmm. you know, innovation or the you know you know so not content mm. with launching Africa's largest entrepreneurship program in 2015 with a commitment of 100 million dollars for the next 10 years. Mr. Olumilu is constantly seeing what next. How mm -hmm. else can we democratize um, wow. the opportunity mm -hmm. and institutionalize that luck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So TEF Connect is a platform, it's a digital platform where the thousands of entrepreneurs who apply, and we have over 300,000 um, entrepreneurs who've come to our portal, yeah, mm -hmm. but don't get selected have now been given the information and the resources. So learning, mentoring, um, investor network, a marketplace, yeah? So it's a digital platform where entrepreneurs can meet other entrepreneurs across the African continent and worldwide, yeah? It's a place where the ecosystem, policymakers, government, academic institutions, investors, funders, you know, we as the entrepreneurs thrive in a thriving mm. ecosystem, yeah? So we're bringing that ecosystem 
um, and bringing it together on Mm -hmm. TEF Connect. So TEF Connect is really what's evolved out of the entrepreneurship program um, over the last four years, that we wanted to find ways of institutionalizing and democratizing you know, access to information so more and more entrepreneurs can also benefit. So, for example, the 12-week training program now is available online. So if you didn't get selected but you think your business idea is amazing and viable, embark on that 12-week program. Find a mentor who can support you. But it's also a, a, you know, a, a, a digital platform where the foundation is constantly... Um, posting new information of, you know, value-add opportunities to entrepreneurs. They can, we're not the only program. There are many, many other programs, different kinds of programs. So it is literally bringing the entrepreneurs and the ecosystem together. And I reckon it's free. Totally. Mm. So all you have to do is to log on, go to the to the website, log on with your email and and, and create a password for yourself and start basically you know using the facilities mm-hmm. um, on, that are being that are already uploaded on the on the TE, on TEF connect platform it's an extraordinary innovation again you know it will it's you know adding to the growth and and the significance and the importance of enterprises entrepreneurs and SMEs to the african continent we know that entrepreneurship is really evolving on a very large scale and i know that prior to this time when the t when the tony Lumbuli foundation entrepreneurship program commenced the idea was a thousand entrepreneurs per time but we see applications of over a hundred you know applicants a yeah. hundred thousand applicants how how do you intend um expanding you know the reach sure i mean i think the 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 reach is there as you can see we are reaching 54 african countries mm-hmm. francophone anglophone mm-hmm. french and the arab countries as well across north africa i think the challenge is you know there's a danger of the hope that the program generated turning into despair because mm-hmm. you know 151000 you select 1000 so there are a number of ways one is obviously with tef connect so you're sharing making the information more widely. This is knowledge sharing. Mm-hmm. The second is to, given that, you know, out of those 151,000, maybe we will have selected 15,000 could easily be funded and supported. Mm-hmm. So, we're, you know, we've really partnered with, we've, we've said to organizations that we have the model and what we'd like you to do is to consider sponsoring additional entrepreneurs. So we will continue selecting 1,000, but, you know, so a number of those organizations have responded to that call. Mm-hmm. ICRC, the International Red Cross, um, UNDP, GIZ, which is a German development agency, they've all responded with supporting additional entrepreneurs. And since 2018, we were able to support an, an additional 470 entrepreneurs mm-hmm. as opposed to just 1,000. I think the ambition is now to scale that, you know, really find partners who can sponsor an additional 1,000. And when we say sponsor, it's literally the $5,000 seed capital Mm. that goes directly to the entrepreneur, yeah? Plus, yeah, so it's literally finding organizations who have, and who are willing to risk that $5,000, yeah? And you know that it's not a huge risk, because here was a guy who applied in 2017, and in 2018, turned that $5,000 to a Mm. $250,000 additional funding, yeah? So you know that investment in young people or investment in entrepreneurs uh, is literally investing in them to develop their, the skills, you know, the ability to manage a business, yeah? mm Um, you know, in you know, if you can create, if you can invest in them in that in that structured framework, the returns on those five thousand dollars per entrepreneur are phenomenal. All right, we know that it's a ten-year plan, but what happens to this beautiful initiative after the ten-year? Certainly, you know, the ten thousand plus entrepreneurs that we will have invested in through training, mentoring, and seed capital, and 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 in other ways. 
they will be transforming Africa. They will be having an impact in terms of the number of jobs that they've created, the revenues that they've generated, and the social impact that they've made, yeah? That by, you, you know, applying their own knowledge, there's, you know, to, you know, to building their own businesses, yeah? It's, I mean, you can't get a, you can't expect even bigger returns than that, yeah? So 10, you know, in 10 years from now, Mr. Illumilu should be able to look back and say, you know, one of these business ideas is now doing an IPO. Mm -hmm. They're listing on the stock exchange market because they took the $5,000 and really that seed that they got was an important launch mm -hmm. pad, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I think also the fact that, you know, that um, Mr. Illumilu would have shown that people, when they want to support um, enterprises, you need to take a long-term view, mm. yeah? And that, you know, it wasn't a one-year initiative or a two-year program, it was a 10-year commitment. Mm -hmm. And that in itself is incredible. How far do you see entrepreneurship growing across the African continent? The, the future of Africa mm. is dependent on the SMEs and the entrepreneurs, yeah? If you look at how um, Ethiopia has turned its economy around. Yes, the government is playing a big, a major part in it, but it is the private sector. And the private sector begins as an enterprise, yeah? Um, and it grows into a large company. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, those cities are growing mm -hmm. because Ethiopia. of, of mm -hmm. entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and because of the enterprise culture. Um, it is the enterprise culture, it, you know, when, you know, the economies are suffering, it is the entrepreneurs who keep the economies going. So SMEs and, and, and entrepreneurs are very much, have a, they're fundamental mm. um, part of, they should be a fundamental part of any government's 5, 10, 15, 20 year plan for their country. All right, and finally, you've been in this journey with the Tony Lumilu Foundation for well over, what, five years now? Yeah. What mistake would you say you've, you've seen um, entrepreneurs make over time and you're telling one person listening to you right now, this is a mistake I have seen very common amongst entrepreneurs and I feel like you should watch out? I think it's always, you know, get rich quick. Mm. You know, there's the assumption that, you know, that you're going to make it very, very quickly, yeah? You have an idea, you've got the business, you've got it going. And, you know, because entrepreneurs to some extent have become celebrities. You know, you've got, you know, the extraordinary entrepreneurs, the founders of Jobberman, Waka Now. There are many from within and across the African continent, um, as well as obviously, you know, coming out of America, etc. yeah? Yes, but you know, it's, it's a long-term journey mm -hmm. and you have to walk the path. Um, so my, you know, my one advice is, is pace yourself, yeah? And be ready to pivot and change directions when you encounter real obstacles, yeah? Because they're just a small hump and you'll get over it and you'll find that there's the next one. Mm. So I think pacing yourself and not assuming that this is, a, you know, a road to getting rich quickly mm. because it's not. All right, thank you very much for joining me. Thank this you so much. Thank you. I have seen these young Africans prosper from some who didn't even know what to do with their lives until they got the $5,000 seed capital from Tony Mill Foundation and the mentorship and the training, that gladdens my heart. I saw this ad about the Tony Lumelu Foundation. I applied. That was the pivotal moment. Africa Fashion Week London just came after I participated in the Tony Lumelu Foundation entrepreneurship program. Tony Lumelu, grâce à sa foundation, permet de donner une boussole à tous les entrepreneurs de cette foundation. Our role is not only to empower young Africans directly, we should be a voice, advocate, catalyst for economic empowerment of Africa. The future of Africa is in your hands. Become a Tony Elumelu entrepreneur. Apply now.